The Department of Labor of the Ministry of Social Protection launched its banner in observance of War Against Child Labor Week earlier today. Shanice Beckles reports. The Department of Labor of the Ministry of Social Protection held the launching of its child labor banner and the hoisting of the golden arrowhead in observance of Guyana's 51st independence anniversary earlier today. The banner was launched in observance of World Day Against Child Labor, which was observed on Monday last. The simple formal ceremony saw the participation of the Guyana Defense Force and the secondary institutions within New Amsterdam. Occupational safety and health officer attached to the Ministry of Social Protection, Labor Department Region 6, Mr. Darwin Bourne, was present at the event and addressed the gathering. If a child is deprived from school, recreational activities, deprived of being a child, and they have to mix their childhood with work, they have to mix their childhood with garnering income for a family. You find that what would that happen to what would happen to that child? That child cannot contribute properly to society. That child cannot be aspired to reach their dreams, their true potential. The child might want to be a doctor, the child might want to be a law enforcement officer, the child might be want to be a defense force officer, the child might want to be a labor officer. Right? But because of lack of opportunities, somewhat lack of opportunities, not having money, then going into the world of work at a very tender age, you find that it strips them from their dignity as a child. The wholesome moral values of that child is depleted. And that goes and it stretches right into our society. So the wholesome morals of the society also will be depleted. Mr. Bourne disclosed the ministry's aim in regard to combating child labor. The ministry at present is trying to make child labor visible. Child labor is hiding in plain sight in our society and we are not doing anything about it. Now is your opportunity to do something about it. We could say, if you see this as occurring, say something about it. Tell somebody about it. Tell the ministry about it. All of these agencies that are here are pledging their support to eradicate child labor, ostracize this scourge out of our society, right? Let it don't exist anymore. And how it's gonna, how we gonna, how we gonna eradicate it is that collectively, if we put our heads together, if we put our minds together, and we work collectively, we could effectively eradicate child labor. Deputy Regional Executive Officer Region 6, Mr. Claude Henry, was present at the event on behalf of the RDC and made these comments. This activity here this morning is very, very fitting because the world always observing International Day Against Child Labor. It's a devious thing. We obviously talk about the butter shoes and all of that. We know about all of that. Child labor is tempting. And that is why some parents, when the school, when the children would have completed their schooling at a certain level, they will not send them to work. But they will give them the little allowances and have them there until they can further get an opportunity to further their study. The regional administration would want to support these activities and I bring you greetings on behalf of the regional administration and on behalf of my family and, and I on this special in, in, uh, occasion. Senior Recruitment and Manpower Officer Ms. Shondell Glasgow then encouraged If you are out there, children, and you know of any of your colleagues that are going through these things, please encourage them to come into the Ministry of Labor, same office, and report it. Or, sometimes if they're afraid to report it, we're asking you, you can come and highlight with the officer or our officers what your colleagues are doing. Child labor is the exploitation of the most vulnerable group in society, children. 
The term child labor is defined as work that deprives children of their childhood, their potential, and their dignity. The Golden Arrowhead was then ceremoniously hoisted by members of the Guyana Defense Force. Shinis Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.